Well, welcome coaster spotters. Here's the parking lot at six o'clock for coaster power hours at Six Flags Good Adventure. This is a brand new event and uh, it's supposed to, they're advertising as the shortest lines ever. The price is five dollars for members and then uh, non-members it is uh, thirty dollars just to get in and have this exclusive time. Only the coasters are open. There are gonna be a DJ, uh, some special food items, Apparently we can use our membership for uh, food or dining plan and all that stuff, but we're not sure about a lot of things. They've told us a little bit, but here we are. We're gonna show you everything you need to know about this. And if it's worth uh, $30, I think $5, it's worth it no matter what, because it's $5. We are gonna see how fast we can do all 12 coasters. All right, this is what we were hoping for. A little bit of a lineup for here for the food specials and everything. So. Uh, uh, the piggy dog looks fun, so I think I'm gonna try that out at 7 p.m. And uh, yeah, so we might not do all the rides in a row, but we'll definitely have like a stopwatch from like when we start and uh, end like a food item or something like that, so we can figure out how long it actually takes us to do all 12 coasters. But uh, pretty cool, and double rides for the first hour. Perfect, I, so you have to do double rides, perfect. All right, still Walker dude. Woo! Ah, here's the DJ. Oh, I like all the logos down there. That's so much fun. Look at that. So it's looking like the food operations are pretty much just centered around uh, the Main Street area, which makes sense. Uh, at the point of this event, I think for them is to open up the park, but have their, uh, their labor as cheap as possible. And uh, I, I like this idea, this is great. She's been doing this years ago. Hopefully this event works. Hope you like this video. You know, if you do, uh, consider subscribing and uh, hitting that like button. And if you have any questions, go ahead and ask them down on the uh, comments. I'll be uh, do my best to answer them. If uh, I didn't mention something in the video, I still might have an answer. All right, we're gonna start out with the Superman. It is approximately six foot two. Yeah, we got the timer going, so. As we walk in. As we walk in, we're gonna hit it. We're gonna stop it anytime we stop for food or if we ride uh, some things more than once. Except for this one with the double rides. All right, let's go. Feeling super for Superman. All right, 14 minutes, but we had to wait for them to uh, be ready and loading people. We're on the first train. So we should have gone to Green Lantern first. That would have been the better idea. But uh, it's supposed to be double rides in the first hours, but they weren't allowing it. Or we didn't even ask because we didn't want to go again. Good Superman ride for what Superman is, of course. Superman's okay. It's not great. It's better at over Georgia. It is better at Six Flags over Georgia, but it's still fun. All right. What time is it? 17 minutes in. Let's go. I'm gonna double ride. So Ariel's gonna stop the timer after she gets off and start it back again the minute I get off my second ride. All right, first ride on this for the year. Both of these rides over here. All right, it's uh, 26 minutes and change for our uh, first two rides. Green Lantern was a little shaky, but not terrible. All right, fortunately, El Toro has opened. Uh, no Ka yet, but it is cold and it's rainy, so open will be open later. Uh, third coaster, we're gonna do the Harley Quinn. Crazy train. We are 32 minutes and 54 seconds into this, this, this uh, challenge. That's not much of a challenge. But let's go. Oh, that didn't take long at all. 37 minutes, 30 min 30 seconds. That was running really well for uh, Harley Quinn. I keep on wanting to call it Blackbeard, which apparently I did in the last Jersey Devil construction update where I was on the water just on the other side of that fence. That was pretty cool. Go check out that update. It doesn't have enough views. Go check it out. Here's that piggy dog. It looks pretty good. Um, I'm just excited to have, they don't do a lot of specialty foods outside of Holland Park. There's a little bit for 
uh, uh, Fright Fest, but not not that much. So it's nice to see some special stuff. Looks good. All right, time to go do Joker. About 40 minutes in. DJ, we can't have this on for very long because YouTube. Woo! All right, I don't know how long it's been. Like 10 minutes, right? That was quick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So not as quick as I would like to be going through this stuff, but. Uh, there we go, Joker. It was okay. Two, two and a half clips on the green side. Not great. Still fun. And we didn't wait an hour. All right, Skull Mountain, uh, about 54 minutes. Again, we're not counting the time that we're stopping for food and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, we're excited for this because the remix is supposed to have new lights and a new soundtrack or something. Something okay. that they should have been doing forever ago. And for the different holidays and stuff like that. Missed opportunity. Hopefully they'll take this and uh, use it for different seasons. Because like, I don't know, Christmas music would be great. That took like no time, what, like five minutes? Yeah. Uh, we're gonna go check out the Jersey Devil really quickly. I doubt there's anything to really update on. But uh, Skull Mountain Remix was kind of lame. The, the problem was the work light was on, so the, the whole building was really bright. And uh, that's not great, but uh, I mean, it was, it was a bunch of spotlights that were kind of, uh, it could be better. The music was very quiet. It doesn't quite have an abandoned park feeling right now, but it, it's pretty up there. What's up with the strobe lights? I, I guess they were like, oh, it's power hour. Let's add some strobe lights. <laughs> that's, that's interesting. It feels like what it is for the weather. When you're at the park and it's rainy and cold like this, this is the problem. Yeah, but not every single ride is open. Just the coasters. All right, dark night time. Let's go. Indoor wild mouse. First time this year. There we go, that didn't take long. Perfect. A little unremarkable today. I felt like it was running slower than normal. But still fun, little wild mouse in a box with some decent theming. All right, let's go ride the other Batman, the better Batman. So many Batmans. Look, it's like a minute later. I wonder why. Let's go do the real Batman. Yes. So good. So 28 year, 28 years old. All right, we're taking a cake break. Uh, but this is amazing, guys. Like, come and do this event. I, first of all, I want them to continue to do this event. So if you are on the fence about it, like, j there's nobody here. There are no lines. It's amazing. Uh, you, you know, if you can get off early on a Friday, do this. In May, I believe it's going to be turned to Thursdays. But there's nobody here, and you're going to spend so much more money on a flash pass on the busy weekends when you can spend $30 just to come in here if you don't have a membership or whatever. Like, yeah. And if you have a membership, I don't know what you're thinking about. Like, ten, five dollars is nothing for what you're experiencing right here. It's amazing. Uh, I hope they keep doing it. All right, time to ride Nitro. We had a little bit of a cake break, as you saw. But uh, this is moving on really nicely, as I said. So, yeah, there's nobody here. Nitro, walk up front seat ride, and then we're gonna re-ride crazy. It's gonna be amazing. All right, we're on the other side of the park now. About to go do the mine train. But you can't see anything, because it's dark as darkness is or something. I, again, I just want to say again, I said it probably in the last clip, but just come to this event because I want this event to happen next year again because this is amazing and there's not enough people, I think, for them to say, hey, we should do this again. So if anything, just come to this event. Just just do it. Get into your car, pay the $5 or the $30 and come. And they have nice specials like $7 beer and popcorn or cotton candy actually on a stick, which they haven't sold for years on a stick. All right, one more coaster to go, two more coasters to go because unfortunately it's looking like Kingdom Kaz can be closed, but that didn't take too long, but we don't know what utilities are. There we go, hour 52. <laughs> so it would have, if, uh, we'll see how it goes, but I think how, if Kaz had been open, we would have been able to do the park in one, you know, round trip and uh, we wouldn't have backtracked as much. So that added a little bit of time, but regardless, you can probably do all these things in about two and a half hours, it looks like. And, uh, yeah, this is incredible. I've seen the park dead, but 
This is exceptionally dead. Considering that, you know, no rides are open, just the coasters. So, what's and that? Normally when it's this dead, you're like, oh no, is it gonna close? Once it could have closed, they're gonna close it. I'm yeah. having that feel right now. No. Yeah, no, but unless it's like really extreme rain, but since it's kind of a paid event, I don't think they can, I don't feel like, I would hope they wouldn't do that. True, that too. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, when it's this dead on a normal day, you're just like, so oh, no, 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 no. On a normal day, if it was this dead, they would have closed. So, like, I have Even that if fear. it was good weather. So, like, I have that fear. I, 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 well, so, we like, only have an hour left, yeah. so we're fine. So, yeah, that's actually how long it's taken us. We're almost to nine, 10 o'clock now. And, uh, but we, we, again, we kind of ate a lot of stuff and, and did this and that and did a bunch of re rides. We rode Nitro six times without, without getting off the train. That, that's what you can do. I haven't been talking about that, but we have been doing re-rides. And you got, we got to go up to the front. Yeah, well, yes, the we, took, we took a front seat ride on Nitro, and then we did two in the back, and then we, did, we went up to the front because no one was waiting for the front row. And we were like, okay, yeah. So let's go do Medusa, AKA Bizarro. And uh, what's up? At one point when I was walking and you were on the ride, no one was around. I'm like, I'm gonna be attacked, no one's here. <laughs> There's plenty of security. Yeah, I saw it. It's like, one to five security to guests. Also, another little thing I have to say is that they haven't decided to like be cheap on the trains. Like, you know, Nitro's running two, Batman running two, Skull Mountain running two. This is running two, I think. Uh, yeah, it, it, you would have thought for an event, like it's actually probably running too many trains. Like they don't need this much capacity. Go We're gonna go this way because no one's here. And that is the sign we go by right there. The one that's on the side of the station. That's not, where you, that's not where you go. You go this way if you're trying to skip through the line. All right, two hours and eight minutes. So we'll be on Toro in about 10 minutes. A good Nitro, a good uh, Bizarro, Medusa ride, whatever. Uh, the misters being on when it's like 50 something degrees is not necessary. <laughs> no, especially when you're in the front seat. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, I think that's gonna about do it. We'll wrap it up at the end of the night, but we're, we don't need to show you anything else. Uh, this night has been amazing, and, uh, I think I've said that already a billion times. Because it's just freaking awesome. He keeps saying this is great. This is great. This is so great. It's El Toro, and we're done. Two hours and 14 minutes. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, so, uh, it is 11 o'clock. I rode El Toro 11 times and in less than an hour. That was pretty good, one, right? One train off. One train off, yeah, no problem. If, actually, towards the end, we had to wait for people. That last 11th ride almost didn't happen because they need a certain amount of people on the train. So, uh, yeah, this was amazing and uh, just come. I don't know if there's enough people for them to make any money tonight. And that worries me. That worries me. So. Uh, but yeah, all I can tell you is this is a cool event. If all you care about is roller coasters, you don't want anything else. This is absolutely perfect. It's, it's amazing. I would love to do this at another park that I don't go to often. Yeah, like Magic Mountain or oh Fiesta. My. Oh my God. Or Georgia even. Yeah. Yeah. I don't go a lot. Oh my God. Yeah. Magic Mountain would be amazing. Yeah. Oh my God, well, yeah. I've never been, but yes, it would be amazing. That would be good for even your first time to Magic Mountain. Oh yeah, it would be odd, but I because the next day you could go to the normal operation. I don't think they would ever do that because they're, you know, 365 now, so. And anyways, all right, thanks for watching. This has been the Coaster Spot. If you like this video, please hit a, hit a like, subscribe, tell your friends, all that stuff. Thanks for watching. Your uh, support helps me do these videos, so bye.